Saturday, October 26th version of every game on the board in the NHL. Guys, welcome to Wager Talk TV. Andrew McGinnis here. And uh, we are going to look at every single possible game there is in the NHL for Saturday. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm definitely in a different setup than I usually am. Um, not the best lighting, not the best audio. We're on a nice little uh, weekend getaway, but we had to get these picks out. We had to get these thoughts out. So we're going to be super quick. Let's not waste any time. Let's dive right into it. Uh, starting things off with our first game, we'll break down here. Flyers and Wild. We're going to rock with the under six in this one, minus 120. When it comes down to it right now, guys, this Wild team, they're playing some really good defensive hockey. And I am shocked by it. I'm not going to lie. I thought the regression train would hit them uh, at some point by now, but it has not. And for this Flyers team, I know on a large scale, they're probably going to be an over team. But for right now, I think this is going to be a huge game for them to focus and emphasize on defensive play. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned right now with this Minnesota Wild team, they're an under or pass team because I can't figure them out as far as their side is concerned. But they've been playing some pretty good hockey, getting good goaltending um, and really keeping things low scoring. So we're going to go with the under six in the Minnesota Wild and uh, Philadelphia Flyers game. We have the Sabres and the Red Wings, two of the bottom feeders in the Atlantic Division going head to head. We're going to lock in the team total over three and a half minus 105 for the Sabres. Look, guys, the biggest problem with this Sabres team is not their offense. It's frankly their defense. That's the biggest issue for them. It's the biggest issue that they face. Um, and for Detroit, it's very similar, actually. You know, I trust their top six. They've got Kane, Tarasenko, uh, Dabrinkit, so many talented players and Larkin. But I don't trust them defensively. So uh, will they give up four goals? Most certainly. Um, can they win the game still? They could. But we're going to bet on Buffalo to score four goals today against the Detroit Red Wings. And then for at least to put some uh, goals on the board in that one. Los Angeles taking on Utah. Guys, this is one of those regression type games just based on how Utah has played. Um, they, I think they've overachieved this season. I feel like that uh, they've got off to a really good start. They had that Eastern road trip uh, to start off their season. And, you know, this is the thing, guys. They're, they're still the Arizona Coyotes. You know, a new team, a new organization, a new new home for them. But their defensive play has started to show a little bit. We've seen it out of them. And I feel like they're still that same team that, you know, against certain teams like this, they might struggle. Um, LA is a very sound defensive team. They've got three centers that can shut things down. They got three lines that can play and a fourth line that's very physical. Um, I'm not a huge regulation guy anymore, but plus 100, I really do like that. I just think that matchup works really well uh, for the LA Kings. Uh, before I jump into the next game, guys, if you're watching this, I really appreciate it. My apologies for getting this video out late. Uh, but I do have a massive CFL bet going today. Uh, my biggest bet in the CFL in, in, in weeks, probably over a month now at this point. Um, it goes this afternoon, and you guys can use the promo code CFL15CFL15 to take $15 off this play, CFL15. It's a 5% play today in the CFL. It is the last week of the CFL season, and I found a spot that I really, really love uh, in the CFL. So you guys can use that promo code CFL15. Take $15 off at wt.buzz backslash AM. All right, let's keep things going here with the every game on the board video. Ducks and Rangers. We're going to go with the over six in this one. This is the second game back at home after a road trip for the Rangers. It was a successful road trip. Uh, and then they lost at their first game back against the Florida Panthers. I do think they'll bounce back and score some goals. Uh, but I do think this is a spot usually the Ducks get some goals, but they give up a ton of goals as well. And this Ducks team, they've been competing. You know, their top players have been playing pretty well. But again, I, get, I don't trust the, the goaltending always with them. Uh, although Destal has looked pretty good, but I don't overly trust the defensive play of this Ducks team. And the Rangers with the... Foreman is actually motivated, so I feel like they're going to put a bunch of goals up uh, on the Anaheim Ducks. All right, the next one we have, Leafs Bruins. We're going to go under six here, guys. We've got two desperate teams right now. couple losses in a row for the Leafs. couple losses in a row for the NHL Bruins that we know this Bruins team right now. Uh, the media talking about them firing their coach once again, which would be crazy, but it very well could happen. Um, so both teams need a win. Both teams need to get back on track. Uh, and with that being said, we're going to go ahead and lock in the under six. I think defensive mindset, defensive play will be on the mind of both of these teams. Uh, Jets and Flames. You know, guys, a big thing for me this year in the NHL was streaks. Following a streak, 
and uh, don't try and step ahead of a streak, uh, step in front of one. Well, the Jets are playing some really good hockey right now. In fact, they're undefeated on the season. They have not lost a game this season yet. So why should we go in front of them? Well, plus 115 is the price you can get over three and a half goals team total for them. We're going to take that number uh, for the Winnipeg Jets versus the Calgary Flames, a team that I think is overachieved a little bit to start this season off. Uh, their offense has been okay, but I don't trust their defense either. Blues versus Habs. Uh, guys, I keep saying this. You guys know I'm a Canadiens fan, uh, but I feel like on these Saturdays, I keep finding spots that I do like the Montreal Canadiens. Um, they haven't played a game since Tuesday, the frozen frenzy when every single team played. They've had all week to prepare. You know, they've got two wins in the season against Toronto and against Ottawa. Other than that, it hasn't looked very good for this team. You know, the media has been down their throat. People have been asking them tough questions. There's been a lot of bad things said about the Habs over the last, you know, four or five days. This is one of those games where they have to be ready for. The Blues just beat down the Maple Leafs in big underdog fashion, uh, I believe, on Thursday night. So this is a big game for the Habs. We're going to take them as a nice little underdog to hopefully get the job done at plus 105. Panthers, Islanders, we're going to fade the back-to-back -back for the Islanders and take the Panthers on the money line. Uh, Panthers just played the Rangers, as I mentioned. They got the job done over them, but the Islanders played last night, and they defeated the Devils. So not much travel, of course. Uh, but also not much travel for the Panthers as they would have just been hanging around um, in New York and waiting to play uh, against the uh, the Islanders. We'll take the Panthers, lay that number on the money line. I think it's well worth it. Hawks and Stars. Again, guys, we're going to fade the back-to-back -back here. This is a back-to-back -back spot for the Hawks. They lost 3-2 against the Preds. However, we're not going to fade them on the money line or fade them on the puck line or team total. We're going to actually just take the over. I think a young team like this, you know, they got a couple of vets, but a, for the most part, a younger team, uh, they struggle with the back-to-back. -back. So uh, I think the Stars are a team overall that's definitely an under team, but right now they're putting some goals in the board. Chicago's going to be a team that's going to put some goals in the board as well, but they're also going to give up a ton of chances. But I think over six, we could see some fireworks in that game, Stars and Hawks. Guys, I'm going to have a package up and available at wagertalk.com today. You guys can get all my NHL plays, but don't forget about that huge CFL wager Canadian football I know NFL's big I know college football is big but do not forget about the CFL it's a big play I have up at wager talk CFL 1-5 save $15 off my CFL 5% play jackets and predators going to be a pass for me guys I just haven't didn't really find a play I like in that one the the uh, the Preds are starting to play some good hockey they're turning things around after they had a, a winless start after their first few games uh, they're playing better now, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I have price in this one, but first period over. Both Vancouver and Pittsburgh, especially Pittsburgh, huge first period over teams. This Pittsburgh team, you cannot trust their defense. Last night, once again, Pittsburgh's defense looks abysmal, giving up a ton of goals against the Edmonton Oilers. They're playing back-to-back -back against Vancouver. That won't go well for them. We'll take the first period over in the Canucks and the uh, Penguins game. And we're going to end the night off with an underdog. The Seattle Kraken. Release the Kraken. Plus 150 against the Hurricanes. This is the old fat and sassy spot where I feel like they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Uh, after they've had a pretty good road trip, this Hurricanes team. And I feel like they're going to have a tough time in this one. And Seattle feel at home. Want to get in rhythm. Want to get on a roll once again here. Plus 150, sign me up. This is my favorite underdog on the board. It's also the last game of the night. Boom. Every single game on the board, guys. Uh, we're out here in beautiful Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, Canada, uh, recording at uh, the cottage here. So a little bit different than the usual studio. And for all of you guys that, uh, that don't like the green screens, well, this is about as natural of a setup as you can get. So we're here. Look forward to watching some hockey tonight. Look forward to hopefully cashing some tickets, making some money, and uh, especially winning that CFL 5% play. So thanks so much for watching. As always, comment below what you are betting. And uh, again, guys, hit the like button. It, it really does help me out uh, and encourages me to, to make more of these videos. So that's it for today, guys. I'll see you next time right here on Wager Talk TV.